In chapter 8, we look at the navigation tool, and it's a pretty simple tool that's happening in the div called nav. And you can see that we use a list in order to um, create the navigation tool. Um, we also have links set up um, as a navigation tool would, but those links kind of go nowhere at the moment. So if you look in the code, going nowhere <laughs> is basically using href equals pound sign. Pound sign just means load the same page. Um, it, it essentially is a placeholder for um, links that you might include at a later time. So I want to demonstrate just setting up a very simple nav. I'm just going to command N to make a new blank document. We'll call this a simple nav just to go over this one more time here. And I'm going to just set up on the page, let's just add a few categories with our simple unordered list. Um, so I'll do bio, you know, update, whatever. This is just a quick list that we'll just pretend like this is a nav tool. Now, if this were a navigational tool, I would also then go to each one of these and set them up as links. And since I don't really have links right now for each of these, I'm just going to select them and put in pound sign in my link area. And that just says mock it up as a link and maybe later I'll add a real link, an actual page or some media. And so now I've got this sort of template in my HTML code for what that simple nav would look like. I'll choose file save as, we'll call this simple nav and we'll take a look at this in the browser. Maybe close all of these other pages from last last screencast I made. So, um, you know, these don't go anywhere, but they're simple kind of link structure that's set up. Now, this is probably the ugliest navigation tool you could make. <laughs> maybe maybe you could get uglier, but this is pretty bad. Um, so if you wanted to then transform what this looks like, you would use some CSS. And I'll click the new CSS style rule. Um, and what I'm going to do, since this is just a simple nav and a page as a demonstration, is I'll just choose a tag and I'm just going to modify the li tag. So I could scroll way, way, way down or I could just type in here li because I want to change the li tag, the list tag. Um, normally I would set this up in a new style sheet file, but I'm going to go ahead and just put this in this document only since this is just for demonstration purposes. I'll press OK. And now I'm in the rule definition for LI and I can even see my styles being added to this web page. So there are two areas, two most important areas that you want to change. And then you could add more changes later. But most importantly, we want to go to block and we want to just decide if we want to see this in line, meaning and in a single line going across the page, or block going down the page as it already is. Block is sort of the default. So I'm going to choose inline here. I'll press apply and you can see that that automatically puts it in line. And then I'm also going to choose list and I'm going to um, tell it that I want no list style type. Now my bullet points um, kind of the default is that the bullet points will go away but that's not a guarantee in all browsers. So I'm just going to set my list style type as none. We won't really see anything change in Dreamweaver, but that would assure me that in web browsers I would not be seeing the bullet point before each of these. Now I could also go ahead and add some um, some padding because you can see these the words are really close together and it's kind of hard to read each of them. So I could at this point now uh, go into my my box category um, and I could, I'm going to uncheck same for all and maybe add just some right padding, so this would be to the right of each word. Um, and I can just choose, you know, maybe 20 pixels or more or less, um, something like that to kind of set this apart. So at this point, everything else that I would maybe do uh, would affect just the visual display of the nav, but in general, this is a pretty simple navigation tool um, that runs across the top of the page. You would probably, um, you know, alter what your A href tag is going to look like. Um, and that way you could maybe get rid of the underline, you might change your font face, uh, font size, this kind of stuff. Uh, but this is your rough outline for setting up that li tag um, so that you've got your, um, your top navigational tool um, created using a combination of styles and your HTML code.